The Hindu has reported that the delivery of the first Tejas Mark 1A aircraft to the Indian Air Force now aimed for November looks highly unlikely. General Electric had already informed Hindustan Aeronautics of potential supply chain challenges at the time the contract for 99F404 engines was signed in 2021, which stemmed due to disruptions related to obtaining specialized alloys in the post-pandemic world. Idea Forge is developing two new drones, a tactical UAV with a maximum takeoff weight of 50 kg and a range of up to 100 km, and a middle mile logistics UAV with a maximum takeoff weight of 500 kg and a range of 150 km. The Indian Army has expressed a desire for increased armor and the integration of an active protection system on the Jarawa light tank but the demand for heavier armor could significantly impact the tank's weight, potentially compromising its mobility and strategic advantages. New images have appeared on social media that confirms the use of Indian manufactured 125mm high-explosive tank rounds in Ukraine, which comes after Czech Republic's recent confirmation of a order for 50,125mm high-explosive tank rounds from Munitions India Limited. A US-based aeronautical company has suspended the supply of critical spare parts of F-16 to Pakistan, after it failed to settle a payment of over $300,000. Astra Defense has unveiled its maiden in Duetal Generation 2 pistol. Indian Army's Pine Warriors carried out integrated infantry and armor training exercise, to conduct rapid operations on the Western Front. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is set to collaborate closely with the Aeronautical Development Agency to optimize the Tejas Mark II air intake to accommodate potential engine change in the future, which points towards the possibility of integrating either the 92 kN Cavalry II engine or the upcoming 110 kN engine developed for AMCA into the Tejas Mark II. To ensure seamless integration of these potential jet engines, HAL will also require wind tunnel testing data and detailed undercarriage information from the Aeronautical Development Agency. The Aeronautical Development Agency is on the lookout for a senior domain propulsion expert that will play a pivotal role in driving propulsion-related activities for the AMCA and the twin-engine deck-based fighter that will accelerate the development of these indigenous platforms. The job description also includes a significant component dedicated to the integration of the cavalry engine into the Tejas aircraft. Brahmos Aerospace has initiated work on an extended range version of its air-launched cruise missile, and this new 800 km range missile is an evolution of the existing 450 km range Brahmos A, that will significantly enhance the strike capabilities of the Indian Air Force. To accommodate the heavier payload, the Su-30 will undergo structural enhancements, primarily focusing on reinforcing the mid and rear fuselage sections, and Hindustan Aeronautics will carry out this critical modification, to ensure the aircraft can safely carry the 2.5-ton missile. The Indian Navy's MiG-29K fighter jet fleet is undergoing a phased upgrade that includes equipping the 40 MiG-29K fighters with HAL-developed mission control computers, as this upgrade will lay the groundwork for the seamless integration of the new UTAM Mark II radar that boasts over 950 transmit-receive modules and employs advanced gallium nitride technology. The head of Embraer's Defense and Security Division has expressed confidence that the Indian government will finalize its choice for the 80 medium transport aircraft within the next two to four years. He also said that Embraer has a robust localization plan as mandated by this campaign and has chosen Mohindra as the Indian partner to establish a final assembly line for the aircraft in India. Today's top three comments.